Down this rugged dirt road and away from modern development, Mexico remains a nation of pristine natural beauty. And here, where the water meets the sand, is where this beauty is still cherished. The strong coastal wind still carries the earthy rhythms of this native song, one that's been echoing here for thousands of years. But the wind also brings a byproduct of modernization and a threat to the enduring connection between the people and this beautiful and remote land. This is Comcock land, a 150 mile stretch of arid Sonoran coast along the Sea of Cortez and the Gulf of California, where the Comcock Indians have roamed for the past 2,000 years. Jose Angel Sanchez Pacheco and Duane Silverstein are from Psychology, a global nonprofit based in Berkeley, California, that works to preserve and protect islands and their indigenous cultures throughout the world. This is a very important function because in the last 500 years, the overwhelming majority of plant and animal extinctions have taken place on islands. We have a very unique and cost-effective way of achieving this goal. We approach island villagers and ask them what tangible thing they would like, such as a school, freshwater delivery system, solar energy system, in exchange for establishing a forest or marine reserve. Sí, porque lo que hacemos es intercambiamos, en este caso, algo para que ustedes puedan deshacerse de su basura a cambio de que ustedes sigan conservando la isla. ¿Qué le parece? Está bien, muy bien así. Antonio Torres Robles is the Comcock chief and leading member of the Council of Elders. He and 600 other Comcock live on the mainland in their biggest town, Punta Chueca, a town deep-rooted in tradition and solitude, yet plagued by pollution. Antonio is a true steward of the environment, looking for new ways to preserve old traditions. By many generations, they have been really environmentally oriented and they want to continue those traditions. They really want to work with us to protect the island. In its short history, Seacology has preserved almost two million acres of threatened forest and coral reef ecosystems, and we have over 200 projects in over 40 countries throughout the globe. Tiburon Island is one of hundreds of islands that Seacology is helping to keep pristine. It is the biggest island in Mexico, and due mostly to the Comcox efforts, is a completely uninhabited nature preserve, full of biological diversity and rich history. It is the birthplace of the Concoc Indians. Fuera como la madre, padre aquí de la aquí está esta tierra y de la isla del tiburón. ¿Usted nació en la isla, señor? Yo nací aquí en la isla hasta el año 32. They have a real a connection to, to what's on the island and, and what it means to them. Quedan en una historia muy, muy triste y muy a fondo en aquel tiempo. Cuando había un tiempo de, de este reminio de la raza Kumkak, uh -huh. en ese sentido, en ese tiempo, no, no permitieran ningún gente extraña. Well, today, tourists are free to explore the island with a permit. Just a century ago, things were vastly different. From the island, they were able to escape from the hunting by the Mexican army. Years of hostility and attempted extermination brought their numbers from 5,000 to 200 by the 1940s. But they resisted relocating, and today, their population is 900 and growing. Tiburon Island has been their safe sanctuary over time. Bueno, pues aquí de los antepasados, aquí vivían uh, esa parte, esa donde estamos ahorita, de los antepasados, así como lo dejaron ellos, queremos estarnos aquí. 
The Comcock's traditional knowledge of their environment and the plants and animals within it is the impetus behind conservation practices in the area. But outside influences are persistent and the Comcock don't currently have the resources to meet the growing demands of the 21st century. The reach of technology and, and the Western culture is reflected in, in a problem they have right now. Mass-produced foods and goods are becoming more readily available, and yet the Comcock territory is so remote that the government cannot provide adequate trash pickup or recycling services. Lo llevas el viento, lo dejan, y ya cuando la marea alta o marea baja, esa basura se atracan por acá de las islas del Tiburón. Sí, porque como psicólogos queremos ayudarlos a trabajar con su basura. Uh -huh. Yo estoy uh -huh. conservando de la, aquí de la isla del Tiburón, de Tiburón, aquí en la ciudad de, de Punta Chueca. Uh -huh. Yo necesito que me apoyen, que me ayuden para que, que saquen todas las basuras, todas las cosas. There's another town also called Desemboque. It's about 300 people living there. And they both have the same problems. The use of plastic and metal that suddenly is useless is, is a problem for them. And they need to figure out a way that that turns into an advantage. Psychology has a very straightforward solution develop the infrastructure for a successful trash management program. The first ecology funded trash compactor is being built in Desemboque. A building where they can collect the trash and separate them into plastic, glass, paper, metal, get it smaller and, and some company from Hermosillo, Sonara will buy it from them. Que ustedes puedan limpiar su pueblo, juntar, juntar la basura, y además que puedan vender su basura. Sí, no queremos ver un, el, el impacto. Los seres que ahora viven aquí, pero que... ¿Cómo, cómo ven ellos la isla? Ellos también la respetan. Sí, también lo respetan ellos. Bueno, pues yo creo que no lo respetaron a los sitios sagrados, pero nosotros sí lo respetamos. Esa es la vida de la comunidad. These children remain deeply rooted to the desert habitat where they live, to a storied culture that has much to teach the world about respect for nature. With help from organizations like Psychology, the Comcock people will continue doing what they've done for hundreds of years, far before the word environmentalist was coined, living in harmony with Tiburon Island and the surrounding bounty of nature which they inherited and someday will pass on to their own children. Yo estoy conservando la cultura y tradición. Sí.